In this video, guys, we're gonna look at what is an if touched stop. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. So this is an advanced order type, an if touched stop is an advanced order type that we often see on some more institutional grade platforms for prop firms, for higher volume retail traders, for those people who are trading, day trading, uh, on the exchange directly, maybe they're trading interest rates, uh, maybe they're trading DAX futures, whatever it may be. But what we're doing here is I know that most of us are trading via CFD, trading via spread bet, trading via a, a spot FX firm, whatever it may be. And these orders generally aren't supplied with these kind of brokers, which is not a problem because we can recreate these orders. But the point is, if we're looking to see what people have taken the time to code and develop and put on institutional grade platforms, number one, it says, okay, well, maybe we can integrate some of these order types and thinking into our strategy. And number two, we also know how the bigger players or the more frequent players and more active players are actually involved in the market and so we can think kind of gaming theory of okay this is what they may be doing this is what they may be doing if they're making order types around it this might be a common theme and strategy so loads of different ways of doing this not necessarily just loads of different reasons why we're looking at this rather than just explaining what it is so what is an if touch stop and if touch stop is basically a lot of these orders are synthetic order types i.e they are programmed to trigger after something has happened so there's a trigger and then that sends the order into the uh, exchange or gets the, marks the order as live. So this is this is kind of how we get these advanced orders. Is there's always something that has to happen in order for that order to go live, rather than our traditional limit order or traditional stop order, which is literally as soon as we place the order, we put a buy stop in. £10 a point if we're spread betting at 20,000, bang, it goes in. If the price hits that 20,000 level, we know that we're out around 20,000 along. Uh, we, we bought at £10 a point, and that would be our short position close uh, if we're wrong. So, if touch stop really means this. If we look at a scenario, which is easiest to get the example, if let's say we'll look at a long example, okay, and we're saying, right, um, we want to get long only under certain conditions. Now, again, this is, okay, of course we could use a stop if we're using it uh, in terms of getting out of position, but a stop order, this, this example really is a stop order to get us into the market at a level once we've seen a level. So let's look at an example with the best thing. So let's say, for example, we... Uh, see the market doing this, okay, very down move, quite aggressive from the open, let's say there's the open there. And we say to ourselves, right, if the market should go down to a level which we think is a decent support level, and by the way, there's loads of kind of thesis and, and ideas behind this, but this is just one that's springing to mind now. Let's say we've got a good support level here, all right, and I'm going to put that as a 50, 50, whatever that may be the market goes through there, we might have our thesis, our trade idea thesis might be, if the market trades through that prior support and pushes back up and recovers in the late afternoon, we want to buy as it breaks through the high. Okay, so there's our high level there, and let's say that's 60 just for argument's sake. So our thesis is, listen, if it breaks through the low, and doesn't continue lower, but then later on in the afternoon, say, it recovers, pushes back up and breaks through the high. I wanna get long because I believe that's an intraday trend reversal. I believe that that's going to push up and give me a, a multi-hour move, multi-day move, whatever it may be. Then we could use this, and if touch, stop. So our order would be, right, if 50's touched, so if 50, I'm gonna just put a tick there, if 50's touched, then, and this is the order that's going in, then we have a buy stop for, let's keep it with our 10 pounds or 10 contracts, 10 at 60, right? So really what's happening is that buy stop isn't triggered until this 50 level is touched. And don't forget a buy stop means that we're not, it's not a limit, it's not, we're not waiting for the market to come to us. We're basically saying, okay, if this is triggered and then we now push up here, activate a buy stop and assume it's a buy market and it'll fire 10 contracts, 10 whatever it is into the market at when the 60 is tagged and we're now gonna be long from here, but only if this has happened. So this is quite a powerful thing because we don't wanna be having that buy stop sitting there maybe if it's just here because we think if it does it early on, maybe the, the whole game has changed, it's gonna reverse and push down here. However, once we've set our level, we want to see it doing some business out or something happen, then the trigger is activated. So how could we recreate that? 
um, with our spread betting platform or CFD platform very, very easily, guys. We could just literally have an alert at 50. So markets coming on, chugging, the alert gets hit, uh, triggered at 50, and then we can just put our buy stop in, literally manually putting it in and doing it that way. So yes, there's a little bit more legwork to it. And yes, if it were really compressed time frames, we might struggle with that. But for the majority of us who are trading intraday or swing trading, and we've got you know time in between trades and time in between orders and time in between triggers, we could easily do this. You can set an alert on your mobile platform, uh, check out the link below for to a, a mobile spread betting platform if you haven't got one sorted out yet. Set it alert, bang, off you go. You put your stop in, and that's creating this. And if you think about why this is, why this people have gone to the trouble to code this into platforms, it's because price action is so important. It's because you know, just saying I want to buy at this level doesn't make enough sense. It's what's happened before to trigger that, and that's the key, you know, to a lot of trading. That's it's what's happened before to make you just have the decision to do this now. And in this example, it's, hey, I've failed to push through a key level and I've reversed. So if I see that, that, then I want to get long. I don't just want to get long above 60. If it just tickles above 60, that's nowhere near the same. Even though the price is the same, it's not the same as having done this prior price action first before it's hit that. And so it's why we get these if touch limits, if touch stop, some kind of trigger that puts an order in. So anyway, guys, that is the if touched stop. Keep your risk manager whatever you do, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.